Tech Saints Automation and Engineering. Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss that how to calculate or how to measure the real time temperature in the field by using PT100 and a temperature transmitter by using Micrologix 1100. This PLC, I'm going to show you the bigger view of this PLC. So look at that. This PLC have the two analog in built-in inputs, analog input one and input two. So from here, I can uh, uh, from here I can turn on my PLC by giving the AC power to it, and from here I can get 24 volts output to use for the digital sensors or the HMI purposes. From here, I can uh, give two analog inputs this one and this one and this is the common for analog inputs and these are the digital inputs all is that so as you show it is showing that the relay output so this plc have the relay output which is the common for the everyone d0 if we give ac volt here then we will get ac voltages from here if we will give dc voltages here then we will get dc voltages here because this plc is relay type and we can operate 100 AC voltage devices and 24 volt DC devices also on a single CPU. So I'm going, I am going to again here. So I am now going to show you the connections. As you can see that this is my PT100. This PT100 will convert this temperature into resistance. And then this transmitter will convert this resistance in this to this temperature into 0 to 10 volt this 0 to 10 volt signal will be go to the plc analog input 1 and common sorry the common is here common is here so this is go to the common so plc will so what is happening here, the temperature, physical quantity is converted into electrical quantity and going to the PLC. From here, I am giving the 110 AC input to the PLC for the turn on purposes. Okay, so when we move uh, forward, when we move forward, so I am going to show you what is the behind of all of this. Actually, this 0 to 10 voltages. not considered by PLC. Suppose that this is my sensor and it is converting the temperature into 0 to 10 volt. And this input voltage is coming to the PLC. So PLC directly, PLC processor did not use this one. The importance of 0 to 10 volt will be end there. So P inside of the PLC there is an analog to digital converter ADC. This analog to digital converter convert analog values into digital values. Okay. So in Micrologics 11,000, 1100, sorry. If analog signal is coming from the sensor is 0 volt, it will be converted into 0. If it is coming 5 volt, it will be converted into 512. And if it is coming to 10 volt, it will be 123. So if it will be 3 volt, 2 volt, then according to this ratio, the voltage will be. So I make this ratio in the here. So if it will be uh, like that, uh, if the PLC is giving uh, 1 volt, the value will be 1 value 2. If PLC is giving uh, uh, the 5 volts, the value will be that if PLC is giving the sorry if this transmitter is giving this voltage PLC give this value to the processor the converter will give this value if the value is coming here 10 the value will be that so this is the conversion method of the this one of micrologics 11,000 so now what is happening this temperature is suppose that 0 to 100 coming to this PT 100 and this is converting uh, the transmitter is converting 0 to 100 into 0 to 10 volt and this 0 to 10 volt is going to the PLC and PLC converting this value from 0 to 10 to 1024 decibel so this value now used to do the program so now I am moving to the micrologics to show you what is going on here 
so here is a some of the parameters which we have to study here is a, i am taking a, as a uh, here i have to the source value what is the source the source is the sensor okay you have to go to the input there are the if you will go to the uh, this layout will be show to you you have to click on this one and go to the decimal so this is your input first input of the plc analog input this is second input so you have to just copy it from here and paste here but now as i am using the simulation so i will use the integer because i am not have any physical sensor here so i will copy this one from here and will paste here okay so now what is the rate now the concern is that how to calculate the rate so i will go here and uh, what i will do so you can look at that the formula for scale value means that the final output which we will uh, came to us is input value divided by sensor x x rate m plus offset y is equal to y uh, sorry x m plus c this is the formula but now we have to concern with only rate and offset okay so scaled maximum scaled minimum input maximum and input minimum so scaled maximum my uh, the value which i want to scale is 100 temperature 100 degree centigrade this one and my scaled minimum is zero input maximum is 1024 and minus input maximum minimum is zero so when i will do that 100 minus zero is 100 input maximum so it is uh, uh you can say that 1024 minus 0 so it is coming is that like if i open this calculator so look at that 100 divided by 1024 so we are getting this value 976 okay now we have to offset scaled minimum is 0 minus input minimum is 0 multiply by rate so rate is coming is that okay so as my scaled minimum is 0 minus my input minimum is also 0 so uh, when i multiply this one so it will be a rate okay so rate will be 0 minus copy this 0 minus clear everything 0 minus control v okay is equal to so it will be like the same value so what we have to do we have to ignore this minus and we have to use this one 976 we can also consider it as 970 because it is too much in decimal so we can so but we have when we have we are doing the programming we have to select only these three digits we have to give only 976 or you can also give that 970 when we are doing this program so here i have to give here the value which is 976 so you can also give it as 970 so here is what is value the values that uh, to me okay it is offset value so the offset value is uh, uh, again you can say that the rate value is here and i have to give the offset value so my offset value is as it is coming in the minus so copy you can also take this value as a zero but i am not taking it as a here i am going to here and will give us this uh, paste value and what is the my destination where i want to store this value i will copy this one and gonna paste here paste okay i will so i will uh, take it as a minus and uh, compile so you can see that then to the negative to the error or the error
okay no errors has been found so we have uh, done with clarity so i am going to download the program into the plc program has error cannot download uh, i am again verifying what is the problem here so this is file okay so we can give it as a simply it is as a zero because we can also use it as a zero now again i will compile the program so you can look at that no errors found verify has completed so i will go to the here and download the program and press the okay and the backup file okay no problem yes yes so i am going to online and run my cpu look at that so now we are checking step by step suppose that the temperature pump when i start the plant the temperature is increasing increasing and here thermocouple is increasing the resistance and this transmitter is increasing the temperature a uh, voltage is suppose that at initially it is zero so then when it is at zero the value here the P conversion by plc is zero so this conversion will be show us to here so when i will give it as a zero so you can look at that the temperature will be approximately zero it is zero so when i will again go here suppose that the temperature is gradually increasing and the temperature is it is sensor is giving 2 volts the, the uh, transmitter is giving 2 volts then the value will be here uh, sorry uh, i am pressing the enter okay so 204 so when i will go to here i will write here 204 204 so when the 204 the temperature will be 20 degree centigrade which is showing to me now again come into the my this file and and i am giving suppose that the sensor there are the 70% voltages are giving the seven voltages so i will when i write here seven so it is giving 716 value when i put this 7716 value 716 value so you can look at that this seven then the temperature will be 70% okay so now if it is give us the 100% 10 volts so 124 and sorry 100 and uh, approximately 124 value so when this value came to me so you can look at as the temperature is 100 degree celsius so this is the analog signal which we uh, use in the micrologics and here you can turn off and turn on anything you by using this temperature in the plant by using the compare commands by using the any other uh, applications it is up to you so that's how you can do the analog to digital conversion the reading the real time temperature of a any plant by using these connections so that's how you can read any temperature flow pressure conductivity uh, speed anything you can do with like that so now i'm